Manchu Mahara here. Borderline manipulation, 10 tactics that they use and what you can do or how you can recognize these tactics. Well, first of all, let's start off with what is manipulation? Manipulation is the process of trying to change another person's feelings, beliefs, or behaviors through indirect tactics. And so rather than asking for what a person needs, people that are manipulative tend to use deception, coercion, or even threats to get their needs met. And so I just want to say that this also means that many people with codependency are manipulative too, but not in the same way as people with BPD are. Manipulation is associated with a number of mental health conditions, including, of course, borderline personality disorder, as well as other personality disorders and, you know, in cluster B and otherwise. So what are the tactics that manipulators use? Ten main tactics that are used to, to manipulate you. These are just ten common ones. It's not that it's an exhaustive list. So people that are manipulative use the following tactics. Lying, withholding information, denying feelings, playing the victim, blaming the victim, minimizing others' feelings, pretending to be confused or ignorant, guilt you, shame you, pretending that his or her tactics are intended to serve some other higher purpose, like there could be something good about them. And the tenth one is gaslighting, which looks a little bit different for a lot of people with BPD than those with narcissistic personality disorder, but not always. With these ten tactics, people with BPD have a process provoking you, and especially people with codependency, into an extreme or anger reaction, and then blaming the other person for his or her reaction, which is sort of that, an aspect of gaslighting in and of itself. Borderline manipulation is absolutely crazy-making behavior. It so confuses people besides how painful it really is. When anyone can be manipulated, but expert manipulators, which people with BP are, even though it's not all done consciously, but whether it is or it isn't, isn't what's most important. For those of you hurting on the other side of somebody with BPD or if you're BPDX now, but so, so these expert manipulators, m many, most people with BPD target people and take advantage of certain personality traits. And, and what can that mean? Well, it's often what describes people with codependency, the desire to be liked or pleased, people that are more likely to take extraordinary measures to gain favor with someone else, people with low self-esteem, dependency or codependency, really. Um, so that dependence on the other person, like codependents have on borderlines, externalizing out your needs but like it's unconsciously done naivete or ignorance loneliness which a lot of codependents have before they get in these relationships and then after impulsivity greed and materialism that goes more to the point of cluster b rather than a codependent low assertiveness fear of anger sadness uh, maybe fear of conflict and other negative emotions and you might, as a codependent, really be feeling like a lot of things are your fault when they're not, and especially with a borderline. So why they manipulate is often a case of it being an inadvertent strategy for dealing with their, you know, it's coming out of their defense mechanisms, but it doesn't make it any less horrible for you. Manipulation is part of Many behavioral tactics that people with BPD use and engage in manipulative strategies, and again, not always consciously, but either way, they're still responsible. And so the primary cycle of interaction is manipulation, and people that are manipulative like this with BPD tend to share traits in common, such as a need for control or power over others, and they do that defensively, but still, they do do that a need to um, raise their own self-esteem. They're definitely doing that by manipulating you. Their fear of abandonment drives the manipulation also. 
feelings of unworthiness, helplessness, or hopelessness, a willingness to prioritize their own feelings and desires over the needs and well-being of others, which of course isn't always consciously done by people with BPD, but it does happen with those defense mechanisms. And, and if you're on the receiving end, it hurts just as much whether they're consciously aware or not. So what should you do to handle all this manipulation? Many people realize they're being manipulated, but are really unsure what to do. Because borderline manipulators often play the victim. And the victims of manipulation might excuse their behavior, take no responsibility for it, right? And insist that the manipulator, the borderline, doesn't really know what he or she is doing, which can be true sometimes, but it still doesn't matter. They need to be held responsible. So manipulators thrive on hiding their motives, if in fact they know them, but yes, hiding their motives. So it can be challenging to get them to admit their true intentions. And, and with people with BPD, it's unlikely you're ever going to get them to really admit it, unless they're trying to hoover you back and they're manipulating you in, in, in a bigger way in that regard. Well, many people will refuse to do so, that is to admit, or people with BP can't always see the ways in which they're manipulative, even under pressure. So how to handle the borderline manipulator? Avoid allowing yourself to be shamed or guilted into doing something. This is very hard for people with codependency. When the borderline manipulator makes a covert threat, ask him or her about the threat, which is very difficult to do with many untreated borderlines. Ask the borderline person if he or she can tell you directly what he or she wants, which, of course, most untreated people with BPD can't do, that, but they're responsible to learn how. Avoid sharing how the borderline manipulator makes you feel as your feelings, or leaves you feeling, as your feelings can later be used as a tactic against you by the borderline. Try to be direct and clear and honest and refuse to participate in the escalating game of manipulation. And more to the point, I would say, for those with somebody with borderline personality disorder, most people have codependency, maybe not every single person, but what you really need to do is really work hard against the idea that what they're saying is true. So, you know, watch for those feelings of shame and guilt when you know you're not you didn't do anything wrong and you're not guilty as being manipulatively accused often. And just know too, that when they make a threat, you, you can ask them about it, but chances are you're not going to get anywhere with that. You have to take threats seriously, whether covert or overt. You can ask the borderline to tell you directly what they want, but a lot of borderline manipulation happens because, well, they can't do that. They don't have the emotional intelligence or communication skills from emotional intelligence to to really ask for what they want directly. So there's all this manipulation. That's one of the major reasons, plus fear of abandonment and other things already said. So you really do want to avoid sharing how you are feeling um, with the borderline when they're using these tactics of manipulation, because it's not so much they're going to get like, quote, the supply, unquote, of a narcissist. When, when they can make you feel unokay, then they feel like they're o they're okay. Was it, it? It's all about the black and white. Like if I don't feel good, you're okay, and I and I'm you know dirt on someone's shoe. But 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 if I can feel better, they can only feel better when you feel worse. So you have to really work at recognizing the manipulation, and then the difficult part for people with codependency is to not really engage it, to not ask too many questions about it. And to know that you really need to kind of get out of that line of fire. So you, you probably shouldn't be staying in that relationship if, in fact, you are. And then go no contact. Don't reverse Hoover and don't accept Hoovering. Don't allow them the ability to contact you. So people with BPD withhold information because largely often they're not aware of it. But they can skew facts and everything, too. They deny their feelings because that's the protective mechanism in BPD. They often don't know what they're feeling or why they're feeling what they're feeling, and they'll attribute it to you. And the third tactic, playing the victim. Well, many were victimized in childhood, but in adulthood, it's time for them to get therapy and learn how to grow up. But they'll play the victim because it's repetition compulsion cycles, but it doesn't justify it.
and they will blame the victim because they will victimize you and then blame you and they minimize your feelings because they don't really understand them or their negative impact on you pretending to be confused or ignorant is something that a lot of people with bpd really do in a highly manipulative way and then people often give them the benefit of the doubt that all oh, they really can't remember when that's really rarer you know for people with bpd because they're not all the same and again guilt and shame are core wounds often of codependence as well so you might be carrying around feelings of guilt or shame and may feel them from time to time you know without understanding the reasons and so when the borderline guilt or shames you it's going to really hit on something that's already inside of you from the woundedness of your inner child when you were a child the woundedness in your childhood so in pretending that their tactics are intended to serve some higher purpose or clarify something or just their right fighting to show you how wrong you are there's nothing okay about that and the best way to really deal with it is to kind of observe and, and don't absorb with the borderline as well sort of disengage set a boundary otherwise you're just going to end up in the j justify argue defend explain circular quote conversation unquote from you know where and many people with bpd do gaslight i think gaslighting in bp like i said still looks different largely than the gaslighting of the narcissist but it does happen and, and they do introduce red herring arguments and they don't take personal responsibility and they really do negatively impact people tremendously with that they can be provoking and of course you might be representing object other when they're doing this but it's you that's getting hurt right in that period of time they'll provoke they want to provoke you into an extreme and angry reaction so they can blame you for their manipulative misbehavior in the first place that they're going to take no accountability for so that's you know 10 tactics and not you know a whole list but i mean there's probably more but that's 10 core tactics of borderline manipulation whether it's conscious or not it still ends up amounting to the same thing people with codependency can use some of those tactics of manipulation from a different place as well and so it's fair to say that well you might be really manipulated and severely hurt by that from a person with bpd some people with codependency are manipulating back in ways that you might not realize as well but so it's really important to recognize the borderline manipulation any manipulation that you might be doing out of your codependency and just know again these relationships present impossibility and there's going to be conflict and there's going to be so much pain because even if if, if they even if they don't ghost you when they split to devaluation using these 10 tactics of manipulation there's no room there for you you're not being seen and you're not being heard and that becomes more traumatizing and rewounding